Hey folks, welcome back to Dirty Hippie Studio, my tutorial channel. Today I wanted to um, explore a synthesizer that I've always wanted to buy, but obviously I could never afford, because they're worth about £35,000, and that would be the Jupiter 8 by Roland, um, that was basically their flagship in the first half of the 1980s, made famous by Michael Jackson's Thriller. I've always loved its kind of full polyphonic kind of 80s sound, it's just um, absolutely adore it and um, Aturia actually now make um, what happened, um, they make a kind of soft synth version of it and it's really good, um, I really enjoy to use it because I like adding a little flavour to my tracks, a little bit of 80s flavour. Um, so basically today I'm just going to open that up and um, I've already made a sound and we're going to basically recreate that sound and so you can see the a little bit of what it's capable of it's a lot of fun so let's have a let's have a blast okay so here we are inside ableton here's um my jupiter 8 so i'm just going to come here open it up um and you can open and close this bit here so this is how it looks it's pretty much got the same controls as the original you've got your filters you've got your oscillators and all your kind of modulations envelopes here you've also got an arpeggiator here and um, you know some global controls um, got a nice little bendy area and you can do a bit more here in the advanced section like you can sync up your rates things that probably has a little bit more functionality than the original so you know I don't mind that and I'd never be able to afford it or maybe I will one day maybe um can afford it one day but um this is an arpeggiated sound that i've made so i'm just going to come here and show you how it looks here in the midi sequence it's just basically in d minor it's basically kind of eighth notes um kind of actually i'll show you how it sounds first just with um like an operator or something just so you can hear how it sounds, you know, without all the fancy kind of stuff. Let's turn that to just a square so you can just hear it. So that's how it sounds, it's nothing complicated. Um, and to be honest, you can. This works well just as an arpeggiator this sound. So, so first thing I'm just gonna show you the sound first. Um yeah, let's play it. So that's quite a cool sound. I like it. It's kind of got that dry, scratchy kind of saw wave sequences that I like, like especially when it's coming. It's cool. It has a kind of night nineties kind of rave vibe. Like imagine like like um from the Matrix or something, like Junior Actor style or something. I really like it anyway. Um so what I'm going to do is open up another Jupiter 8, um, just here, um, and then we have to default the patch. So um, I think you do that, we're going template, yeah, default. So now it's just a, a nothingness, it's just um, a default. I like to 
I don't really like using the presets. I always just, I like using the presets and studying them, see how they, how they, how they do their presets. But I don't ever use them. I like to go to the init patch and make stuff. So what I'm gonna do is just drag this down here. There we go. So what we're gonna try and do is recreate the sound above. So first thing, let's uh, have a little look. So first of all, the envelope number one, that's what we wanna, so there's basically zero attack, zero sustain, a little bit of release and uh, the decay is a little bit more than halfway. So let's come here. So what did we say? We had a tiny bit of attack, a little bit of release um, I think there's no sustain and about that about halfway there and the envelope two this is um, this is just as it is so now let's what we want to do is find out what arpeggiator we're using so I'm actually using three octave ranges and I've got this here are the last one so this is like your style of arpeggiators we've got up down or ordered or something reversed not sure round R and D actually not sure random that's probably random probably must be well anyway I, l <laughs> I love a bit of random so let's turn that on range three bit of random and that's set one sixteenth right so now let's check out what else dispersion is number three I don't even know what dispersion is I think let's have a look Had a had a little bit of portamento, and you get that kind of you get that little bit of scratchiness. So now I kind of remember the rest, really. So we come to hit this VCO two, and take that to sixteen, and then this one to sixteen, and then I think this was a saw. There we go. That lovely scratchy kind of saw sound. You could obviously take out all the lows using an EQ. Um, and come get an EQ, take, all, take out all the lows like that. Um, and say I had a, a kind of kick and a bass line, I could side chain it to the kick and have it as a kind of secondary bass line. And even if you use this even without, so I don't play anything, but I just play it. Just like just using the QWERTY keyboard here. So let's draw that in. I think I love Ableton for this, but um, I'm just going to press that capture. And those last two chords I did there were nice. Yeah, that's cool. So what I'm going to do is just. Um, what I did wish Ableton had was like a little cutter. Like so I could just cut it there, just go ching ching. Maybe it does, I don't think it does there. It's annoying. Like you know when you're video editing, it's much cooler if you can. Sweet ears. And uh, let's have a little listen. Yeah, I mean, if I, the fact that this is soft synth means that I can, it's just easier for me. I actually almost probably, I'd actually prefer just as a, as a, you know, as a soft synth rather than as a natural synth. If I was going to buy a synth, I might get like something a bit more modern. Um, 
Cathedral Vampire. That sounds nice. <laughs> I want to put a um an OTT on it. Um, so yeah, there you are. Um, amazing sounds. I actually, um, even just then as I was making this story, I fell even more in love with this wonderful synthesizer. And uh, the fact it is a soft synth, in my opinion, makes it even more easy to use, even um, more synced up. There's no faffing around. It's never just going to get old and start sounding weird. Um, not that I'd say no to one in person, having it there look very nice. but. In the end, it fucking the nuts. Arturia is amazing for a while. And there's, they've got many other synths, and I'll probably do um, more videos on them too. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please like and subscribe this tutorial um, if you liked this tutorial. Um, if you like private mentorship um, with me as a music production private mentorship, please uh, visit dpswainstudio.com. And go to the school section, it's uh, DP Swain Studio slash school, and um, you can find all about my private tuition with Ableton. Um, so yeah, I hope you're hope you're well, and please enjoy yourselves. Take care.